Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Uh, super early in the morning, just got back from the gym. I think it's, a, yeah, it's about 6.30 a.m. Um, and, you know, just feeling good. And I felt the need to make this video on the topic of your identity and who you are and who you've made yourself out to be. Um, and just a short talk on this because uh, for some of you, you may know, you may not know that I run like this men's group in my home. Uh, and, you know, one of my really biggest callings outside of entrepreneurship and outside of, you know, what I do here on this YouTube channel is, you know, like men and getting them to understand what it means to have real manhood, right? And like to, to be a man and on a level that is needed in society and that, and that is actually helpful to people, right? And, and, um, and so we have this series right now where we're talking about having a vision for your life. So I think it's super important that people know where they're going and know what they're trying to do um, and that they aren't just apathetic about, you know, where they're at and what they're doing because I think a lot of people really are and they may not admit it, but, you know, a lot of people are very stagnant and they have no real drive, no real purpose. Um, and this was part three of about five parts on this vision series that we're, that we're doing that I've uh, sort of created for them. And last night was about, and today's Friday morning, it's every Thursday night, last night was about your identity and who you actually are at your core and what you believe about yourself. Because I've been reading recently a lot of material on identity. There's a specific book called Psycho-Cybernetics, and I'll leave the Amazon link down below. It's an absolute must-read for anybody who's trying to do anything with their life and feels as if there's, like, this thing holding them back. There's, like, this almost... Just even when you get close to success, it's just like ah, you you almost shrivel up and you and, and you go back to where you were. And I've I personally deal with this constantly in my business. Like I will reach a certain income level, and then literally the steps are right there to continue past that income level. But I can't get past that freaking income level, and it's my identity keeps me from feeling as if I'm worthy of that. And that may sound like complete total hippie crap to a lot of people, but it's true. Uh, so I wanted to show you this resource I'm going to give you. I'm just going to give it to you for free. It's going to be in the description. Um, this is a little identity sheet, and I've been giving this to my coaching students because some of my coaching students have noticed that I have a huge, like on my Instagram, if you're not following me on Instagram, I have a huge, um, you know, tendency to talk about this sort of stuff on my Instagram. And I talked just briefly on my story at one point. I'm like, your identity is who you are, and your identity is going to tell you who you can and who you can't be. And if your identity doesn't align with what you want to do, then you're never going to do what it is that you want to do. Um, so this is the Trey Cocker, my identity, and then I have affirmations. And the reason why this is so important is if you read that book, Psycho-Cybernetics, it's a very long read, very thick book. Uh, I recommend Audible if you are not the kind of person to dig into a really deep read. But Psycho-Cybernetics talks about, look, your identity can be changed. And one of the ways that it can be changed is through visual and through audible. Um, sort of sort of stimulus. So I've got visual stimulus. I've got my identity, and then I have audible. I have words. So I've got God-fearing, self-disciplined, respected, scientist, generous, patient, balanced, diligent, warrior, builder, panther. And I have images for that. And so a lot of people, they really, they kind of bash and they kind of make fun of people who look at themselves in the mirror and say, you know, I am respected, I am loved, I am you know, all these things. But the reality is, if you don't believe that at your core, you have to do that. You have to make up for that ground. Because some people, you know, they maybe grew up in a home where that wasn't available. And for me, I really have no excuse. I grew up in a great, like, home. I grew up in a great environment. I have great friends, great people. It's literally, it's, it's just me. It's literally just me. And so I have to do this. Um, and so a part of my daily regimen, which you can see I have written up here, I have a daily regimen, I have my vision, mission, and principles, and my self-affirmations. These are all things that I have here on my desktop at any given time. Um, and my self-affirmation is probably the most important one. I do this as often as I possibly can. And so I have visuals, I have um, a couple words. And what you don't wanna do, um, a lot of people put here, they put results, they put like millionaire, they put like, you know, fit, they put like, don't put results, put um, like character traits, right? put things that define you, because results don't define you, right? Um, there's a couple steps between your character traits and the results that you drive. Some things are controlled by the world. There's some things that you aren't in control of, but you are in control of yourself, right? So you wanna put 
self-based character traits. Diligent, warrior, builder, panther isn't really a character trait, but it's just, I freaking love, you know, panthers. Um, self-disciplined is one. You know, respected may be more of a result, but, you know, self-respect maybe. Scientist, I'm a scientist. I discover things, I test things. Generous with my money, with my time. Patient, balanced, diligent. So I have these character traits. Now here in the affirmations, you're going to want to put um, just really the reaff reaffirming what you've written here, right? So affirmations, I, I say things like, I am a warrior. I love the life I've been given. I'm a wonderful steward of opportunity. Uh, I don't let things slide. I don't let little things slide. I'm diligent with everything that I'm given. I utilize every tool given to me to pursue success. My family respects me and supports my every move because sometimes I doubt that. Uh, I'm disciplined to the point where I seem crazy. I'm not worried about making money in the short term. Uh, I know I have an uncashed check for millions waiting for me at the rate that I'm headed now. My work reflects the glory of God. I'm not afraid to lose it all. I have incredible people around me. These sorts of things, like if you have doubts in your head that you know are limiting you, write them here and write the opposite. Like if you doubt that you're capable of doing what it is you've set out to do, write why you are truly capable. And these aren't lies that you're saying to yourself. These are, an affirmation is very different from deceiving yourself. An affirmation is, this is who I am. And this is, like, this is me. And if I can just simply accept this reality, then I'll be able to change. And so I felt the need to make this video because I put out all kinds of content on entrepreneurship and I put out all kinds of co content on, you know, digital marketing and running my marketing agency and, you know, selling courses and all this stuff. Um, and I feel like the underlying issue is that people don't realize their personal potential. Um, and they don't realize that, you know, they are holding themselves back. So, you know, I could give you absolutely everything in the world. I can give you a literal copy and paste blueprint to run a profitable business of some kind. Um, and 90% of the people watching this video still wouldn't be able to do it. 95, if not like 99%, still wouldn't be able to do it because their identity doesn't align with that reality. So I really highly recommend that you download this self-affirmation sheet. You look at my affirmations and model them and you put in your own affirmations. And you put in your own images, you put in the things that matter to you and that you believe are valuable, right? And the things that you strive to do. Put in the images, put in the adjectives, put your name here, uh, put in some affirmations and look at this as often as you possibly can because my biggest enemy in these past year and a half or so, two years since I've really started entrepreneurship has been my identity, has been the thing that I've made myself out to be. And if I can simply change the way that I view myself, then I can change everything else about my life. And I'm beginning to realize that. And, you know, I knew it. Like, I'd heard people say it. I'd heard, like, these gurus and people say it. But it's so true that it's stupid. All you have to do is change how you view yourself, and everything else falls into place. All you have to do is change the things that you believe about who you are as a person, and everything else lines up with it, right? Like, I wasn't always, I, actually, frankly, I was, I, I didn't think I'd be successful at all. I thought I was just going to grow up being a spoiled kid because I grew up under semi-wealthy parents, right? Um, and so I was like, man, I'm just kind of screwed. I'm just going to kind of, you know, be a trust fund kid. Um, but now I actively deny any help that my parents offer me, like, in terms of, like, recently, you know, like, I got a car repair bill, and they were like, hey, we can help you. I'm like, heck no, absolutely not. And that's just because I want to reaffirm, reaffirm this identity that I can handle myself, you know? And not only can I handle myself, but I can live in a state of raw abundance because there's so much opportunity out there. Um, and the fact that, you know, I, I'm beginning to believe that the fact that there are people who don't make at least six figures who understand the basics of the amount of opportunity that's out there is like, the fact that that exists is crazy. The fact that there's anybody out there that sees the opportunity that's at play with the internet and doesn't make really good money with it is stupid. That's just crazy to me. And I got to that point and I got to a point where I can say that without feeling like I'm lying to myself by changing my identity. That's my identity. You know, I'm striving for an ultimate goal. My ultimate goal is to make a million in a year. Like I want to make a serious actual million in a year in a profit, not revenue into my bank account and use that million. And eventually I want to go off and I want to build schools and I want to do all this crazy stuff and I want to help people. Um, but right now it's about to fill those needs that I have in my heart. So yeah, I mean, 
important video, um, and I really just feel like so many people are walking around out there with this weird image of themselves, like that they're unworthy, that they are, you know, lowly in some way, but dude, like, I can't even tell you how right these, like, gurus are. I can't even tell you how right these people are that are telling you that your identity is the only thing that holds you back. Like, your identity is the sole determining factor of who you become, and if you can plant a seed in your head of who you actually are, then you'll thrive. And even just today, like, I was at the gym, right? And I was in the sauna, and I was having a conversation with a couple of the guys also in the sauna. We were just talking about, like, podcasts we listened to. I met some really cool guys this morning. And uh, one of them was an older guy who was probably in his mid-50s, and he was leaving the sauna. He said, see you guys, and I said, see you, sir. I called him sir, right? And uh, I didn't realize that it struck him, but like five or six minutes later, I'm out in the locker area and I'm, you know, getting dressed, getting ready to head out, head back home so I can get working. And he's, and he asked me, like, for me, I, I grew up in a military family, right? Like, I've got military father, not father, uh, grandfather, uh, military uncles. My dad's kind of the only dude who didn't really end up in military, and that's because entrepreneurship is, it now runs in the family. Like, my dad sort of started that, and now I'm going to continue that. And my, I'm, right now, my agency is actually working with the family business, which is really, really cool to me. Um, and that's like a super major dream is to grow the family company so that, you know, I can then take it on and continue this thing out into the, out into the sky, right? And so, but that's not, that's not the point. The point is that I called him sir, called this guy sir, and he looks at me while we're in the locker room and he says, hey, what branch of military were you in? Or like, what branch of service were you in or whatever? And I'm like, what makes you think that? <laughs> you know, like, I'm like, the fact that somebody can look at me though and say, that's someone who could serve, that's someone who could be out there putting his life on the line, to me that means a lot. Because I'm very, first of all, I'm very patriotic. And second of all, you know, the fact that like an older man in his mid fifties can look at a young dude who, in my opinion, is kind of scrawny, kind of like, kind of weird, kind of nerdy, and look at me and be like, yeah, you know, what, where'd you serve? Like that to me is huge. And I just realized like, man, I'm telling myself so many lies about how I'm perceived. Right, I'm telling myself so many lies about who I actually am. And the second, it's crazy that, that that little question planted this seed of like, holy crap, like I am perceiving myself in such a negative way. And not inherently negative, not that I'm like beating myself up. It's not like I think I'm a horrible person. I'm very confident, right? Like I, I am super proud of how far I've come. But even that, like even that has a little glass ceiling to it. Like I can only think I'm so good. You know, but the reality is everybody that's ahead of me is is where I was. It was where I am now at some point. The only thing that they've done differently is that they're diligent and they're continuing every single day to fight through what it is that they're trying to get to. So point of this video, change your identity. You know, if you, if you feel stuck, if you've bought a bunch of courses, if you've maybe bought my course, I don't know, if you've... Um, you know, gone through all these processes of learning systems and processes, the next step, frankly, probably the first step should have been you change your identity. But now the next step, you have to change your identity. You have to change who you are and then let actions stem from this newfound identity instead of letting actions stem from impulse and instinct and these, you know, fleshly things, these things of the body. You want to be outside of your body. You want to control it it will tell you what you it will tell you things that will keep you stagnant it will tell you things that will keep you comfortable it will tell you things that will keep you from ever doing anything with your life ever especially if you live in the 21st century with content like this where you can just kind of massage your brain and make it feel good and you know plus you probably live in america which means you've got more than enough money even if you're broke in terms of america You've got more than enough money. You got food, food stamps, foods everywhere. Like you don't have to do anything, and that thought will be in the back of your head until you tame it. So you have to change your identity in order to pursue the things that you want to do. So, very necessary video I felt the need to make, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, once again, get the book Psycho Cybernetics. Massively important read for anybody trying to do anything valuable with their life. Um, you have to change your identity, and then as well, go ahead and download this keynote. Uh, in the description as well. Sorry, I'm not going to convert it if you're on a Windows computer. You're just going to have to find an online converter keynote to PDF or whatever. I'm just going to put the straight keynote in the description. 
Um, thanks once again. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.